Hi guys, in this video I am going to discuss about to write a program to print the closest prime number. So enter any number less than 25. So this is the condition. So I enter 12. So I enter nearest prime number display 13. Or suppose if I enter number 15, then nearest prime number display 17. Or if I enter a number or 9. Then the nearest prime number display 11. So let's do it. Next, I'm going to discuss about the dry end method of this program. So, if you debug the code, control comes to main function here after that coincides. So, I enter, I have taken four integer variable. First is n, next a, b, and blank. So, I have blank value initialized to zero. So printf function, whatever in double code that display to the output screen, enter any number less than 25. And whatever I'm going to enter, so that received by n. So I'm going to enter n value 6. So here after for loop, a equal to n plus 1. So n value is now 6, 6 plus 1, a become 7. And here after check the condition, 7 less than equal to 25. The condition is true, so that coincides. Flag is now 0. B value start from 2. Here, B less than A. So, 2 less than uh, 7, condition is true, so that coincides. Here, A mod B. So, A value is now 7, and B value is 2. 7 mod 2. So, I enter remainder come 1. 1 double equal to 0, condition is not true, so that not coincide. Here, after that, go up and increase the value of B. So, B is now 3. Check the condition 3 less than 
seven condition is two. So again, that coincides. So I have seven mod three. So you divide by two times. Remainder come one. One double equal to zero. Condition is not true. So that not coincide. B increase. So B is now four. Here after four less than seven. Condition is true. So that coincides. So I have seven mod four. So it divide by one times. Remainder come three. Three, three double equal to zero. Condition is not true. So that not coincide. B increase. So B is now five. Here after five less than seven. Condition is true. So I have Seven mod five double equal to zero. So it divide by one times. Remainder come two. Two double equal to zero. Condition is not true. That not coincide. Here after b increase. So b is now six. Six less than seven. Condition is true. So right here seven mod six double equal to zero. So seven mod six. Remainder come one. One double equal to zero. Condition is not true. So that not coincide. Here after again that increase the value b. So b is now seven. Check the condition. Seven less than seven. Condition is not true. So that not coincide. So here after control comes to this point. So at a, if plank double equal to zero. So plank value is now zero. Condition is true. So that coincide here. Print a function. So whatever in double quote that display into the output screen. The closest prime number or two. So there that display n. So n value is six. Is the value of a. So a value is seven. So here after break statement comes. So that terminate the for loop. And here after that auto main function. So if I enter number six, then output comes seven. Suppose if I enter number n value eight. So let's see. So right here, n value I enter eight. So a equal to eight plus one. So a start from nine. Now here after flag is now zero. So b start from two. B start from two and check the condition two less than a. So a value is now nine. So two less than nine condition is true. So that coincide if a mod b. So a value is now nine and b value is two. Nine mod two uh, double equal to zero. So nine mod two remainder come one. One double equal to zero condition is not true. That not coincide. B increase. So b is three now. So add here three less than a value nine condition is true. So add here nine mod three. So nine mod three remainder come zero. Zero equal to zero condition is true. So that coincide. So add here flag is now. One. So here after break statement comes. So that terminate the or oh, this loop. So here after now control comes to this point and that go up and increase the value of a. So a is now nine to ten. Check the condition ten less than twenty five condition is true. So that go inside. So again, black value is now zero. B start from two again. Check the condition two less than a value ten. Two less than ten condition is true. So that coincides. So right here, B value is now or two and a value is now ten. So ten more two double equal to zero. So right here, remainder come zero zero equal to zero condition is true. So black will become one. So here after break statement comes. So again that terminate the inner for loop. So that out from inner for loop now. Again that go up and increase the value of a. So a is now 11. Here after check the condition 11 less than 25 condition is true. So flag becomes zero again. So right here b start from two. Check the condition uh, b start from two. Check the condition two less than a value 11. Two less than 11 condition is true. So that coincide. So at a 11 mod 2 remainder come 1 1 double equal to 0 condition is not true not green side again b increase so b is 3 now check the condition 3 less than 11 condition is true so 11 mod 3 double equal to 0 condition is not true not green side b increase so at here b is now 4 4 mod 4 less than 11 condition is true so 11 mod 4 double equal to 0 condition is not true that not green side here after b is now 5 check the condition 5 less than 8. 11 condition is true. So right here, 11 mod 5 double equal to 0 condition is not true. That not coincide. B increase. So B is now 
Check the condition 6 less than 11. Condition is true. So, at here, 11 mod 6 double equal to 0. Condition is not true. That not coincide. B increase. So, B is now 7. Check the condition 7 less than 11. Condition is true. So, at here, 11 mod 7 double equal to 0. Condition is not true. That not coincide. B increase. So, B is 8 now. Or check the condition 8 less than 11. Condition is true. So, 11 mod 8 double equal to 0. Condition is not true. That not coincide. B increase. So, B is now 9. Here after 9 less than 11, condition is true, so that coincides, so right here, 11 mod 9 double equal to 0, condition is not true, that not coincide. here after B increase, so B is now 10, so right here, 10 less than 11, condition is true, that coincides, so right here, 11 mod 10 double equal to 0, condition is not true, that not coincide. B increase, so B is now 11, here after so right here, 11 less than 11, condition is not true, that not coincide. So right here, control comes to this point. If flag double equal to 0, so flag value is now 0. So that go inside. So right here, printer function. So whatever in double code, that display into the output screen, the closest flag number to, so percent D, so that for N and this for A. So they print the closest flag number to 6 is 11, A value 11. Here after break statement comes so that terminate the upper for loop. So that out from upper for loop here after that out from main function. So here I have given uh, condition 25. So if you give at your more than 25 like uh, 50. So here you also have to give uh, uh, condition 50. So this is the grand method of this program. So I hope guys you understand. So thanks for watching. See you in next video.